Today we'll be checking out the top 8 most downloaded Formula 1 cars on race department for a Seto Corsa. Stick around till the end for a bonus car that I promise you wouldn't want to miss. The best part about all these cars is they are all free. So come on, let's check them right out. Starting with this car at number 8 on our list, we have the championship winning 1997 Williams FW19 by VRC. It's powered by a Renault 3.0-litre V10 which produces 760 horsepower and weighs just 605 kilograms. Jacques Villeneuve drove this car to win the 1997 championship alongside his teammate Heinz Harold Frensen who had replaced Damon Hill who was the world champion in the previous year. Our car at number 7 is the perfect companion to the Williams we just saw. It's the Ferrari from that same year and it's the Ferrari F310B. It's powered by a Ferrari 3.0-litre V10 and produces about 730 horsepower. This car was raced by Michael Schumacher and Eddie Irvine in the 1997 season. Now this was also the first Formula 1 car with all the dashboard dials and switches incorporated into the steering wheel itself. Another more ugly fact about this car is that Michael Schumacher was disqualified from the 1997 championship for deliberately turning in on Jacques Villeneuve at the Hareth Grand Prix. Moving on to number 6, we have the 1991 Jordan 191. This car was actually meant to be called the Jordan 911, but it was renamed to avoid any disputes with a certain sports car manufacturer. It had a Ford Cosworth 3.5 litre V8 which produces about 650 horsepower, and the cars from this era were also incredibly light, weighing in at just 505 kilograms with driver, fuel, and all fluids. Now, one of the former engineers who worked on this car was quoted as saying that the car ran with about 150 kilograms of fuel in race trim. So assuming that an average Formula 1 driver weighs about 70 kilograms, that means that the car itself weighed just 285 kilograms. To put that in perspective, just the battery pack alone in a Tesla Model S weighs almost as much as two of these cars. However, this car is best remembered as the car that a certain young German racing driver by the name of Michael Schumacher made his incredible Formula 1 debut. He was called on to substitute for Jordan's full-time driver who was then serving a sentence in prison for attacking a taxi driver with tear gas over a road rage incident. At number 5, here's yet another championship winning car. It's the 1998 McLaren MP4 13. It's a 3.0-litre V10 engine which produces about 750 horsepower and it was raced by Mika Hakkinen and David Coulthard. This car was so good that both drivers finished a full lap ahead of everyone else in the first race at Melbourne. Later on, it was discovered that McLaren employed a clever brake steer system which gave the drivers an added advantage in the corners. This system was later banned but still, McLaren maintained their dominance and Mika Hakkinen was able to beat Michael Schumacher to take the World Championship in 1998. We enter the turbo hybrid era now with our car at number 4, it's the 2015 Williams FW37. It's a 1.6 litre hybrid turbo V6 with a combined horsepower of about 750 horsepower. The car's weight have gone up because of the hybrid system so it's about 700 kilograms now and this car was raced by Felipe Massa and Valtteri Bottas. The 2014 car before this had a peculiar anteater nose which thankfully was changed for the 2015 season. However, you can still see the resemblance here for sure. This car managed to secure third spot for the construction this championship behind only Mercedes and Ferrari and is a great car to give you a taste of the current generation of hybrid turbo cars. At number 3, we have yet another Williams. It's the 2009 Williams FW31. It's a 2.4-litre Toyota V8 engine which produces about 740 horsepower and the weight of the car is about 605 kilograms. This was raced by Nico Rosberg and Kazuki Nakajima and Nico Rosberg actually managed to make the most of this car during the races. He was actually able to finish higher than what most people predicted. Nico Rosberg, of course, moved on the following year to drive at Mercedes alongside Michael Schumacher who came out of retirement. At number 2, we have quite possibly the most iconic car in all Formula 1 history. It's the 1988 McLaren MP4-4. Powered by a 1.5 litre Honda V6 turbo engine, it produced about 676 horsepower and weighed just 540 kilograms. 
Driven by Ayrton Senna and Alan Prost, this car was so dominant in the 1988 season that it won 15 out of 16 races and had a record 10 1 2 victories that same year. An interesting fact about this car is that it had two brake calipers for each wheel. Also, if you want to find out more trivia about this car, be sure to check out the link in the description below to a video by the guys at JM on Cars where they go into a full on nerd out with the original designers of this car. And now for the most downloaded car on race department with 189,000 downloads, we have the Ferrari F2002. It had a screaming 3 liter V10 engine which could produce up to 900 horsepower in qualifying mode and weighed just 600 kilograms. Driven by Michael Schumacher and Rubens Barrichello, this car won 14 out of 15 races that year, 9 of which were 1-2 finishes. The combination of a great car and the legendary driving skills of Michael Schumacher meant that he finished every race that season on the podium, never finishing lower than second place. Due to the Ferrari team's dominance that year, there were people who blamed Ferrari for making Formula 1 boring to watch. But believe me, there's absolutely nothing boring about this car. And now finally, the bonus car which is not on race department but I felt needed a special mention. Here's the 2022 F1 by Synapse. This car was from the 2022 championship and the car was named the F1 75 to commemorate the 75th anniversary of the first car that rolled out of the Maranello factory. It's an amazing mod and like all the other mods shown here, absolutely free as well. So go ahead and download all these cars and test drive them and let me know in the comments below which car is your favourite. If you enjoyed any of these cars here, please hit that subscribe button and drop me a like. I'll see you guys at the next video.